guys, I'm here with local Perth artist Susan Rispina. How long have you been playing for? Forever, since I was really little. All my family on my mum's side are all artists, so I've just grown up with it all around me, so yeah. Forever. <laughs> Were you born in this town or did you have to kind of like encourage yourself to teach it? I don't think well, I didn't paint anything, you know, like that when I was a baby, but um, yeah, you definitely, you have to practice, you have to keep practicing. When I was a teenager, I just draw all the time and I think that sort of, yeah, developed into something. Um, yeah. Did you just do like simple sketches back in the day or were you like? Um, I think when I was younger, I used to just like look through a lot of magazines and like um, copy, you know, photos that I saw in there and just try to get it as realistic as I could and that was sort of practiced. Were you good at colouring in books or did you always do that? I was very neat in colouring in books actually, yeah. <laughs> like real life people and then paint or do you just kind of create them all up? Um, yes, yeah, sometimes I take real people but uh, I'll usually change them a bit. Like I guess my Shangri-La one, like that Chinese one, um, that's actually from a photo that I took so and, and that Bali one so I guess they're yeah they're real people so <laughs> um, but yeah usually I sort of take this and change them and stylize them. What advice do you have for like young artists like music actors anything? I want to still career in life. Um, practice lots and don't be discouraged by. I mean, when I was growing up and seeing all these people, like, you know, doing so well at their different arts really young, it kind of used to actually discourage me a little bit. I'd be like, oh, I'm too old now. I'm like, you have to do it when you're, you know, you've got to be good by the time you're 14, you know, that thing. But I actually think, yeah, like you can keep going for, like don't give up, just keep going and you'll do it. <laughs> I saw on your website that you suffer from depression. Has this had like an influence on your work? Or? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, probably I don't like doing really deep, meaningful, dark stuff because, I mean, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you don't want to look at something that makes you just want to, like, <laughs> shoot yourself. Um, yeah, I do stuff that's really, it brightens my day up. Like, I wake up and see it and feel happier. So, hopefully, that makes other people feel happy and, yeah. Do you have any advice for, like, teenagers who are going through similar stuff, like anxiety, depression, and mental health? There is light at the end of the tunnel, <laughs> um, and if it is really bad, like you definitely, it's a, it's just a chemical imbalance. So definitely get medication for it because it makes like a world of difference, and you can be normal. <laughs> and um, a lot of people, you know, were anti me going on the medication because they're like, oh, you don't need that chemical stuff. Like you can just cheer up by yourself. It's not that simple because it's chemical, it's not something that you can just magically change your mind or something. We'd like to thank you for having our interview with us today and make sure you subscribe and like the Facebook page and the interest and the Instagram which is there and click the links below. Thank you for watching.